mujeres del centro de salud. Wait, hold on, hold on. Nevertheless, they had a very real success. You know why they broke up? And uh, I really can't say much about that except that it was uh, a question of sexual rivalry. I mean, their music is absolutely transcendent. It's somewhere between, I, I would say, Faust and uh, Tropicalia. Someone was around in the studio and had one of the tapes. And we were listening to it like, oh my god. It wasn't like stuff we'd heard before. And for us it was a bit, like, kind of difficult to hear it because we were making this album and then there was a band that was already doing something that we felt had already gone so far beyond what we were doing. So it's like a challenge. Moi, j'arriverai pas à faire toutes les parties. Euh, ah. C'est difficile de recréer. Maybe I don't mean to suck myself off here, but like maybe sort of like Eno in Roxy Music, you know, like people, other people are actually playing music, and I'm sort of in the back going like, we are all wow, treatments, you know. I have to say, I was one of the people involved. And so it's hard for me to talk about it without naming names, which I don't want to do. Other people's names. I can name my own name, but I won't say what I did. I should probably really talk to my shrink about my feelings about uh, Mujeres in Gentas um, rather than a, a, a filmmaker because I think I really have a bad case of womb envy and of course in Gentas means pregnant, one of its meanings anyway is pregnancy. Um, I think my problem with the band really began when we were touring the US together.